So I work for Mintel, uh, market research company headquartered in London. Uh, we're an independent, privately owned firm, been running for about 40 years. And we do a lot of research in consumers, in different markets, and in innovation primarily. So I've been invited back to SnackX, I've spoken here before, to talk about trends and innovation in the salty snacks market. Uh, focusing on Europe, talk about some of the big stories, talk about some of the challenges, some of the opportunities and growth areas for the market. Well, the good news is there's still lots of opportunities. Um, I think what we need to do is, is, is treat with caution that whole area of health. Because when it comes down to it, health is not the primary driver in terms of snacks purchase for consumers in any market. It's all about taste and price primarily, and then other factors come into play which may include health. But let's bear in mind the idea of what healthy means is being redefined. So healthy doesn't have to be about less fat, less sodium. It can also be about more plant-based ingredients. It can be about using beans and lentils and pulses and vegetables as a base ingredient and talking up the protein and fiber content, for example. Lots of opportunities there for salty snacks. It's still a really big focus. I um, mean, flavor is still the, the primary driver of purchase, of choice of snack, it's still flavor. Um, and it's really influential, particularly among that younger consumer. So if you talk about the millennial consumer, the Gen Z consumer underneath them, it's all about flavor. And what we're seeing is that that demographic in particular is really motivated by more intense flavors, spicier flavors, more exotic, exciting flavors. And we've seen the market responding really well to that. So we've seen some really strong flavor profiles coming through, um, more sophisticated flavors, combinations of uh, fruity, salty, sweet, salty, lots of different areas like that. Well, I mean, the most obvious opportunity is still with that younger demographic because they are big snack consumers anyway. They eat more snacks typically than older consumers. Um, and they're looking for more variety and stronger flavors. And those are relatively easy for companies to fulfill. We mustn't forget the old demographic though and the family snacking occasion because that's still really key in some countries in particular. And that's not going away. It's just that underneath that, if you look at the younger demographic, the market's becoming much more fragmented because there's so much more variety out there. Something that highlights, that's highlighted really well in some of the demographic work we've done is that if you take nuts, for example, you've got a situation now where older consumers are well aware of the potential health benefits of nuts. Younger consumers are not in major European markets. And that's an area of concern, I think, for the nuts industry. It's a difficult one because you don't want to draw attention to fats generally, but healthy fats are healthy fats. And protein and nuts go hand in hand. So there should be greater opportunity there.